Okay, maybe I didn't really jump the material or whatever. I don't really know what I was talking about. I think I was on the mode for on the road to say something else, and then I went back to the hole in flames and the haunted thing. But you know, anyways, I I don't know. I just get I'm just sick of people in the metal world just complaining about things like this because metal is supposed to be the anti the anti uh every other music that's out there because all the other music most of the other music out there doesn't really have the same heart feeling or emotion that metal can bring to one person you know at least for me for me it you know it does it, it's a relief to me to a lot of people you know i've heard the same stupid excuses of oh screaming doesn't take talent Anybody can do it. Anybody can scream. Look at me. I'm going to scream. Ah! I hate my life and I want to kill people tonight. Ugh. Yep. Yep. That's what some people think. And some people give the whole... Ugh. How can you listen to this? This gives me such a headache. I just... It just gives me such a headache. I need some Tylenol. Give me some Tylenol. You got some time at all? Because my head hurts. My veins are just throbbing in my head because this music is so bad. So evil. And I've even heard the, oh, this just makes me want to go out and kill people right now. Fucking kill people. Really? That's funny because unless you're really listening to death metal and maybe some of the occasional regular metal, it's not really the message. It's not really what's going on. You know, I mean, Cannibal Corpse, obviously. You know, and that stuff just bugs me so much because people don't understand it. But then the people who do understand it treat it like crap when a band who still has metal credibility to their name, to their band name, and who still plays metal in their music, disrespect it all because something changed. Because there was some diversity. So now that person or that band is a sellout, or they just flat out suck that sound. They just cannot execute that sound correctly. Oh my God, they cannot do it. You know, they just, people just want that stuff. Some people just want that stuff that is just like crappy, crappy screaming, crappy, stupid breakdowns all the time. Stuff that they just, that all they want is they just want their turds inside their butt to mosh pit in their colon because they just live and breathe the same crap, the same boring crap and totally despise bands who like to venture outside the box and who like to actually utilize their talent that they do have instead of just wasting it by writing the same material, the same recycled carbon crop copied crap over and over again. You know, some bands can pull it off. Lamb of God, I would be really weirded out if Randy started singing all the time. He's already started changing his vocals up, but he has a badass voice regardless. You know, he's not clean singing or anything like that. You know, that's a band. I would get weirded out if they started singing. I wouldn't hate them, but I'd get weirded out. And Cryptopsy, yes, that's who I was thinking of. Cryptopsy, the Unspoken King album. Holy hell, were you all a bunch of weirdos and pieces of crap about that album. Oh, that still sounded like Cryptopsy, just with a different vocalist. And so what that he sung a little bit. I don't get the Deathcore reference in that album, to be honest with you. I just do not see it or hear it. I don't get it. If you think that you clearly haven't gone back and listened to a lot of their older catalog, I personally cannot remember the titles of some of their stuff. Once Was Not was pretty good. But, you know, Lord Worm, he was better in the early stages of Cryptopsy. He just didn't really do too much on the uh, once was lost or once was not. I think it's once was not. Sorry if I'm getting that mixed up. But he didn't do too much on that album. And his voice just sounded horrible. I, you know, sounded good on some parts. But, you know, 
Cryptopsy's still the same band, and they did not care that you didn't like their album. They're still going to make stuff, you know, just as the other bands, too. Oh, and brings me to my next point. You know, just because, you know, In Flames is the one I have to really use here, and Slipknot even, because of the fact that they're the ones who are really successful out of the Morbid Angel and the Haunted that I'm speaking of. You know, isn't when you get in a band, isn't the point that you want to reach out to people, you want to get your music out to as many people as possible? Isn't that the point? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? You know, make yourself happy. Don't worry about everybody else. Screw everyone else. They don't really matter in the scheme of things when it comes down to music. If you're a musician and you want to write something, freaking write it. Don't worry about what these narrow-minded, shut off from, you know, talent idiots have to say, okay? Not saying that they don't know talent, sorry, that shouldn't have said it that way, but that's what I think. You know, just because I say that doesn't mean I'm saying you don't know talent, okay? That's not what I'm saying, so don't get all crazy and butthurt about it, right? But, you know, it's, it's, it's just when you have talent, utilize it. You know, embrace it. Don't settle for just the same thing that's going to get people to listen to you. Okay, don't do that. It's stupid. Because in my eyes, one version of selling out is by worrying about what other people want and giving other people exactly what it is they want. And you're not happy about it. That is selling out, my friend. That right there is what selling out, to me, is pretty much about. Other than when you are... A band like y'all go back to Morbid Angel. If Morbid Angel was death metal, and they went and they just did a rock album, just a straight up rock album, a Nickelback album, a stupid, dirty Nickelback album, or My Darkest Days, and started singing about hookers and hooker spit in their buttholes, and ice rubbed on their nipples with hot tamales scattered down their stomachs to their belly buttons. It's a really gross thought now that I think about it, but. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing sells. They could have easily went to that. So could the Haunted or In Flames. But they, no, they actually still stick to intelligent lyrics. They still stick to intelligent um, just intelligent ways of going about it. And actually just being smart and not retarded and stupid like most rock bands nowadays are. The mainstream rock bands. The ones that have to have a sex song just to get recognized or get somewhere because everybody likes to do it. So, you know, I'm going to end this rant now because this has already went on long enough. But, you know, shut up. Okay, just shut up. The bands don't care about you. About Well, they care about you, but not to the point of where you're going to sit there and completely trash what they're doing. Especially if they're evolving a little bit. You know, I know this video isn't going to do nothing. It's not going to change anybody's mind. It's not going to make some random little 15-year-old kid who thinks he knows Morbid Angel or In Flames or The Haunted when those bands have been around longer than that person's existed. It's going to be sitting there. You know, they don't worry about what you think, little kid. Little kids or just closed-minded people who have no idea what metal or music is. Yeah, one more point. One more point and I will go. I'm sorry. But people who, the people who sit there and think that screaming or singing does not belong in metal, where the hell are you getting your info from? I was going to bring this up earlier, I forgot, but look at the bands before, all these bands that are nowadays, that were around nowadays. There was no screaming. Look at Metallica. Metallica introduced the fast, thrashy speed metal. They screamed a little bit, but it wasn't constant screaming. They sang. And you know, in my eyes, Black Sabbath is still the originators of metal because of what Tony Iommi did to his finger by an industrial accident. They said he had to down tune it to get the right to get that tone, and they got the tone, the metal tone. Then you got Judas Priest, you got Deep Purple, you even got some of Zeppelin. That was all considered metal back then, and you know, there was no screaming. So where are you getting your info that metal has to be? Where do you get that? Huh? Where do you get it? Where do you get it? I don't see it. I don't get it. I don't got it. I don't want it. You don't know what you're talking about. So shut up. Shut up. Go get a, go get a 
freaking sandwich or something and criticize the person who put that sandwich together because there's no salami when you clearly ordered salami on that sandwich. Okay, you wanted salami on that sandwich. You want to get salami. That's an understandable statement. That's like going to Big McDonald's and ordering a Big Mac and then being out of beef or being out of the Big or being out of the Mac. You know? Complain about something useful. This isn't useful, but to me it's useful right now because this is just something I can't keep inside any longer. Just go and do something constructive with your life. Stop worrying about what bands are doing. And You either like the music or you don't. Let it go. Don't bitch. Don't complain. Don't whine. Don't think that you know what you're talking about because in all reality you really don't. And I probably don't sometimes either. But you know what? I've got some chocolate milk calling my name right now. And I gotta go pick up some people to go down this wicked slide I got going on back here. Put some water on it, get some water slides going. So I got things I gotta go do instead of sitting here making videos. Enjoy. I hope, well, I don't care if some of you get pissed, but I hope not everybody took this into offensive heart. Or maybe I do, maybe I don't, we'll never know. Bye bye, see you later, have fun. Enjoy metal, rock on.